Hello everyone, this is the continuation of my last video in which I showed you how to design a system like YouTube using Azure services. In that video, we have designed the part of the system that content creator requires to upload the videos and in addition to that, we have designed the video processing system as well, asynchronous video processing based on a set of specified resolutions. We are going to create separate videos. The goal of this video is designing the rest of this architecture and what is remaining here is designing the video delivery using CDNs and all that. So let's get started. I'm going to start this by adding a new user here, the content weaver. And the next thing that we need to think about is how we can deliver the YouTube application to the user. For that, we can use the same pattern that we have used here. We can use an Azure Static Web App because YouTube application, it is a single page application. In my last video, I explained why I used a Static Web App. Please go ahead and watch that. I'm not going to repeat all that information here as well. All right, so after having this Static Web App here, now let me add this Static Web App here. All right, we have the YouTube front end. Now it's time for us to think about the back end. Now when it comes to this part of the system, there will definitely be more load here because there will be way more content weavers than content creators. What we can do is we can implement the same architecture, same pattern that we have here as well. The interesting thing about this pattern is that this traffic manager, it will load balance, it will geographically load balance the load. In addition to that, these app services, they can independently scale as well. For example, if you have more users in East US region than South India, there will be more instances of the backend application. Now let me implement the same pattern here as well. As you can see here, we are delivering the SPA using an Azure Static Web App and for the backend, we are going to have different APIs and there will be a load balancer, a traffic manager in front of it. These applications, they need to talk to the database to retrieve the, the metadata of these videos. Now let me add this arrow here. All right, now I had drawn this arrow to the Cosmos DB so that it can retrieve the metadata. In addition to delivering metadata, this part of the application is responsible for delivering the, uh, the search results and recommendations and all that. But I'm not going to go into details of those modules in this video, but I'm going to add this uh, black box that will represent this search functionality. Now, if we think about the services that you can use for search on Azure, we can go with Azure Search or Elastic Cloud. All right, now we have completed this part of the architecture. So basically, content weavers they can get the metadata of the videos and they can do the search as well. Now comes the most important part of this architecture and that is delivering the video content. And the solution is relatively easy if you correctly optimize CDNs. Now this is a media delivery application so we need to deliver like huge files and also thumbnail images as well. What we can do is we can make use of Azure CDN for delivering the video and image content. I'm going to add two CDNs here one for delivering videos and one for delivering images. I'm adding two CDNs here because we can have separate optimizations based on the type of content that we are delivering here. For example, for delivering videos, there are optimizations for HLS and Dash, dynamic adaptive, smooth streaming and things like that. And because of that, I'm gonna have two CDNs. For delivering images, for example, you can enable dynamic image compressions so it will compress it will adjust the compression of the image based on the level of network bandwidth you have. So there are a lot of things to learn in that arena so you can optimize and pick the best CDN type that you can use here. And in addition to that, there are three types of CDN providers on Azure. There's Microsoft, there is Akamai and there's Verizon. So based on the optimizations that they have, you can pick the CDN. All right, now that we have the CDNs in place, let me add an arrow. So these CDNs, they retrieve the content from the storage account that we have here. All right, as you can see here, I have drawn two arrows from my permanent storage account into the two CDNs I have added here. Now let me add an arrow here as well so that this 
YouTube frontend can get images from image CDN. Now, these CDNs, they're really important part of this architecture. If one of these CDNs stop working, our application will stop its function. So what we can do is we can increase the availability of this CDN mechanism by having two CDNs. So what we can do is we can have two CDN providers like this, let's say one from Akamai and the next one is from Verizon and Azure supports having a load balancer in front of these two CDNs. So what we can do is we can add a load balancer like this. Now what happens here is that if one of these CDNs is having some technical issues, if it doesn't work, Azure Traffic Manager will direct the request to the next CDN providers. So using this pattern, we can increase the availability of the system. And one other thing that I should mention here is that we have three traffic managers, as you can see, one for delivering the backend of the studio application and one for delivering the YouTube API and the last one for delivering the CDN content. And for these two traffic managers here, we are going to configure geographic routing method. But this one, we're going to go with priority routing because if one CDN is down, it should switch the DNS response to the next CDN. All right, now we have configured everything. The final thing that I should mention in this architecture is that we have enabled video delivery optimizations here. And this YouTube application here, this should be able to retrieve the images retrieve the videos in a dynamic manner. So it should implement some kind of a bitrate adoption algorithm to retrieve the content from these CDNs based on the, the network capacity the application has. We can use something like uh, dash JS here. You can look into it if you want. All right, now if you look at the, uh, the overall architecture now, now this is the architecture that we have designed. We have content creators uploading videos and we are storing them in a storage account and we are converting them, we are encoding them into separate formats and we have Azure Cosmos DB as our storage and we have CDNs to deliver the videos to users and we have CDNs configured with specific media optimizations as well. And this is the end of this video. Let me know if you like this video so that I can continue to do few more of these types of software design videos. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. And in addition to that, if you have any improvement suggestions, please let me know. And finally, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you learned something new today. I will see you with another video like this. Thanks for watching.